Hey, hey, lovelies. This video is here to help you get better sound into Clubhouse. That's the only objective. Now, if you are a performer, a singer-songwriter, a, a poet, a DJ, if you're a person who makes music and loves sharing music, then maybe perhaps you've understood that uh, Clubhouse is a great platform to reach audiences, to bring joy to those people who appreciate music. Unfortunately, Clubhouse is not great at receiving audio signals. Uh, uh, when it comes to interfacing audio, it's less than perfect. But many of us have found ways of getting our audio into Clubhouse with better than decent results. And that's what I would like to share with you today. Many people are offering solutions and uh, I think the only way for you really to find something that works for you is to understand the limitations and the possibilities and see, and see what works for you. So the purpose of this video is to show you how I'm getting audio into Clubhouse, but also show you all the options you have and the things that you need to work around so that you can bring joy to other people on the platform. Good, perfect, so let's begin. First thing you need to understand is that Clubhouse only works with iOS devices. Now, why that is problematic is because um, it, it, it doesn't only have a problem with Android stuff, it also doesn't like to work with other interfaces. For example, this would solve many issues, this iRig stream. A lot of you are using an iRig, uh, but you know I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not using it properly, or you're not using it as intended. Yes, it solves the problem, but uh, anyways. Uh, for example, there's microphones such as this, as the Shure MV888+, which would make many singer-songwriters sound like they're in a professional studio. But, but uh, for some reason, uh, Clubhouse doesn't like these, uh, these interfaces. What it does like is Apple gear. It likes the AirPods. It likes these, uh, these AirPods. Uh, and you can use this dongle to pretty much hack the audio interface into, into Clubhouse. Now, if you're using Bluetooth, that's maybe all right. I don't use Bluetooth technology. But uh, what you should keep in mind is that in any case, what you're bringing in and getting out of Clubhouse is three channels. And the best way of explaining that to you is like this. Stereo is two channels, left and right. Books, right? And you have a microphone, okay? So if you're a singer-songwriter, right, and you want to share your music with the world, so what you need to keep in mind is that, right, you have your earphone here, but you've got your, your microphone somewhere else. Now, if I put my... If I put my uh, if I put my microphone up here, then it will pick up my voice very nicely. But where I position the microphone will make a very big difference in how the sound comes through. Now, you can, for example, take and put the microphone down here, right, and still monitor yourself. You can put the microphone somewhere else. You can take one of those AirPods and position it somewhere else. And so what you need to do is you need to do the hard work and you need to record yourself and see what actually sounds right. And the great thing is, is that you can use Apple's uh, camera and you can actually just film yourself. And so, and so you can film yourself and you can hear what sounds good. And this same thing works when we will be working with this dongle right here. And you can actually hear whether the levels sound good or whether they, they don't sound bad. So my first tip to you is always record yourselves and make sure that it sounds nice. That uh, there's not too much room, that the distance from the guitar to the voice is good. And just, and just see what works. And once you figure out what works, you can actually replicate it. Now, let's continue. Now, let's say that you want better sound, right? And say that you have a mixer, and say that you want to bring in a channel, or say that you're a DJ and that you need to find another solution to this problem. So the only way that you're going to get in to that uh, iPhone, into Clubhouse, is with this little uh, dongle. This is a TRRS adapter. And basically what it is doing is, it is it's accessing the two stereo outputs, right? The ones which will go into your ears, and it's giving you a one microphone channel, right? One microphone. And just so you know what that looks like, just so you know what that looks like, that looks something like this. This is a TRRS cable. Now, one of these is a ground, one of these is the left, another is the right, and the other one will be 
The other one will be the mono input. Now, mono input means that you're only putting one channel, which means that they're going to sum the left and the right, books, put it together, and it's going into your iPhone. You're not going to have that beautiful left-right, you know, depth of field, stereo depth of field. But, you know, you can still get very good audio. Now, so what you need, a lot of people are putting an iRig here, okay? And an iRig, as I said, it's being used... Uh, not, I mean, I'm, I'm always for people using technology to fulfill purposes and not necessarily according to the, to the intentions or its intended use. But um, all the iRig is doing is something that can be performed by a cable such as this. And this is a TRRS splitter. What it is doing is it's splitting those three channels into a workable stereo, left and right. All right, so I can then plug in my my premium or whatever I, earphones I want into this, right? Check it out, books like that. And then I can plug in a microphone or some other input, mono input, one channel input into this, right? And this little cable can actually solve that problem because you might have a lavalier mic, which is TRRS, or some other microphone, which has this TRRS, and it knows where to send the signal so that the iPhone goes, oh, that's amazing. But check it out. The moment that I plug this in here, books, Clubhouse knows that it's getting a signal. Oh, the iPhone knows it's getting a signal. Now, the beauty of this cable, and you can find any of these things on Tommen, on a, I think you can found, find them on Amazon and any other vendors. And they're dirt cheap. They're not expensive. You shouldn't be paying more than a couple of euros for each of these, right? Or dollars. So let's get back to this. This splits the signal. This, what this will do is this will take your stereo, and this stereo is the same stereo that might leave your mixer. It may be the same uh, the headphone output from your sound card. It may be the same headphone output from any other device. And this will turn it into a mono signal. Again, I'm repeating. You're taking the two signals, right? Left and right, left and right, plus the ground. And it is putting them into one. It is summing them up, and it is telling them that, hey, this is where you're going to go down this cable and into there, right? So, very important to have the TRRS splitter and to have this, which turns any TRRS signal, right? I'm sorry, any TRS signal, stereo signal, into a TRRS, assigning it to where it needs to go, okay? So, basically, you should be able to sort yourself out with this and with that. That's it. All right, so the way I'm doing it, I'm using this. I'm using, I'm sending this to the output, my earphones, and I'm putting in a signal through this TRRS, sorry, and my output is coming out from my mixer into which I'm plugging in my guitar and my bass and everything. That's it, you don't need anything else, except unless you need to monitor yourself. And this is where things get perhaps a little bit more difficult. Um, but actually, to make things less complicated, um, I think I'm going to leave this video there. If you would like to know how to later mix those signals or how I'm mixing them, I'm going to put that in another video. But uh, just so you know, just how it works, you need to use basically the Apple interface to get into this. First thing you're only going to get a mono signal into Clubhouse. Mono signal means that you're going to take two, ste two usually stereo signals and you have to put them together. Those are going to go in via TRRS, right? And you know because it's four pins, right? Don't make the mistake of putting in the three pins because you're just going to mess everything up, right? Be sure to use the dongle, right, so that you get access, and then to split it so that you can get stereo output plus your mono input. And then when you're going to go into the mono input, be sure that you have a cable which sums the stereo on the other side and assigns it to the TRRS pins properly. And you should be good to go on your set. And as I said, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Oh, and please always remember to do a sound check. Record yourself on the video and then boop, plug in the earphones, listen to it, say more room, less room. Put this there, put that there, that the levels are good. There's too much bass. Bring down the bass. Okay, I hope that helps you sound better on this platform. Love yous.